hello everyone so in this episode of the unreal engine side scroll side scroller game i'm working on i'm going to implement this uh, animation stance change so as you can see here when the character equip the animation it goes to a different moment animations different plane space basically so when the character is not uh, does not have the sword in the hand these are the animations and also if I don't do anything for a while character automatically put back the sword so those are the parts I'm going to work on this episode and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so so far the character can just equip the sword and that's it it can't do anything else so yeah today let's see how to change the blend space of the animation uh, blueprint uh, animation blueprint when the character equipped the sword so first uh, let's go to our sword and shield folder and yeah just like the animation blend space we have here okay let's just duplicate this that's idle run to the sort let's open it so instead of this one let's use idle sword and shield and for this one sword and shield walk for the running also sword and shield run of course okay now uh, in here let's drag and drop this sword and shield animation blend space for the speed I'll use the same variable mm -hmm. and here let's blend Process by bool. For the false pose, let's attach the unarmed so unarmed uh, work blend space. And for the true pose, let's attach the armed blend space. So here I'll promote this to a variable let's call it um, weapon equipped and connect it like this okay right now uh, by default it should be false of course so when do we where do we set this In the event graph, we set this easy near variable by getting the moment component of the pawn owner and using this is falling. But this uh, equip weapon is not something that happen that can happen always. So therefore, checking that in the tick may not be the best way to do that. So therefore, let's implement a function through a interface to set this weapon equipped um, boolean value let's go to bp and create blueprint blueprint interface bpi character animation Uh, 
uh, let's call it toggle melee weapon and as the input equipped let's add back a weapon equipped a parameter a boolean parameter now under class settings let's add ppi character animation uh, no shall we add another event graph to implement the function that comes through ppi character animation yeah that would be clean or oh, maybe not necessary so anyway toggle melee weapon right and set this weapon equipped like this all right now in the character blueprint yeah here when we equip the weapon we need to call that function so how do we call it mm. let's get some space here the mesh get anim instance toggle melee weapon call that function through the interface we just defined set it to true right now here okay you see the character change to the to a different plane space like that I think it's too fast the blending is too fast true plane time let's say 0.3 and 0.3 right okay so let's implement another uh, another method to unequip or put back the weapon as well um how oh. right uh let's create well maybe uh to define some standard for the melee combat uh, let's define another uh, blueprint interface so i'm gonna use this call it bpi melee combat sheet weapon. the reason to implement this is uh, later on we might need uh, to make the character sheath weapon uh, not from inside the character blueprint maybe uh, through some outside entity maybe like a door or some other character or something so that's why just in case i uh, implemented it using this uh, blueprint interface so let's call it sheet weapon oh no first i'll implement ppi melee combat also uh, just in, in case that we need to call this from the animation blueprint also we can use this interface so right so just like here now instead of well basically we have to do the same thing 
uh, that we did to equip the sword yeah so first we need to check if we have equipped the sword otherwise we can't put it back so if it is true then yeah let's collapse this before it get bigger if it's true play any montage let's play the same montage draw sword and uh, no I do have an animation to sheet the sword Yeah, this one. Okay. Let's create an montage for this as well. Let's play that in the upper body. Shit. How long is this animation? Oh, 1.2 seconds so maybe somewhere here 0.5 seconds okay that would be enough uh, let's add a delay of 0.5 seconds and after that I'll set weapon melee weapon equipped variable to false and then let's get the mesh get an instance we need to uh, set the weapon equipped boolean in the animation blueprint as well so we can use that interface function we defined earlier toggle melee weapon to false and then attach this melee weapon back to the back to the thigh left socket this socket so yeah we can copy that part here this part and this time uh, we should add it to the thigh left socket let me copy that And yeah, set these values, Let's move it back to 0, 0 location over time. So yeah, that function is done. Done. Now where should we call it? Um, okay, let's set it to automatically uh, put back after a certain time. So let's add it here. Let's add a read triggerable delay that means if I call this function again let's say we have five second delay here and if somehow we call this mm -hmm. delay again it reset back to zero so I'll connect this true if I press if I keep pressing the attack button the delay will stay there and if not 
after five seconds it will execute whatever I define here so here let's shape weapon all right let's see equip the weapon one two three four five put back uh, I think the sword didn't quite match the animation put in back part yeah so point 0.9 seconds okay this is where we need to set the sword put him back so right instead of 0.5 delay let's set a point 0.99 delay that should look better right perfect so if I keep pressing or if I keep attacking we don't attack yet but if I keep attacking uh, the weapon will stay in the hand otherwise yeah character will put it back Oh, we can't even see the weapon when the character is facing that way. We need to make it bigger, but we can do it later. All right. Okay, so uh, let's stop this episode here. And in the next episode, let's work on the attacks. And after that, to actually have a fight, we need NPC characters as well. So eventually, I will do that part too. Right. So as always, project files will be available for download through the Patreon page. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. So yeah, see you in another episode. Goodbye.